We are here. We're at the crash site. He has a piece of metal right there. I want to collect as much as I can. This is part of the main landing gear. I've been working on a project for approximately three years to get recognition for a World War II B-24 Liberator bomber called Hot Stuff. It is the first bomber to have completed 25 missions in the 8th Air Force in World War II. The crew and the bomber were ordered home on May 3, 1943 to um, help sell war bonds and tour the country. It didn't happen. General Frank M. Andrews the European Theater of Operations commander needed to get back to Washington. There weren't enough seats on the airplane. My friend was bumped from the airplane, as was the co-pilot. They took off for the States, and they had extremely bad weather. Ended up flying at 850 feet into an 1,100-foot mountain. 14 of the 15 who were on, on board the airplane were killed, including General Andrews, uh, a brigadier general, two colonels, a, a lieutenant colonel, two majors, and three captains. And on May 19, 1943, um, a B-17 bomber called the Memphis Bell completed its 25th mission and was given credit for being the first airplane to come back to the United States intact while Hot Stuff and her crew were completely forgotten. It was a period in World War II where we weren't necessarily winning. They were looking for something, you know, to, to raise the morale. And someone like Memphis Bell coming home and with having completed those missions, it was a great accomplishment. And for that, I, you know, no one can blame them. It's, it's extremely positive, and that's what the country needed. However, Hot Stuff and her crew, later on, should have been recognized for their accomplishments. The country deserves to know about this, and the bomber and crew, they deserve to be recognized in, in American history. Pieces of the airplane. First you found on your visit to the crash site. Wow. This is just the beginning. Amazing, huh?